Raise your hand if you remember a time when this was the go-to gaming on the go. The original Game Boy introduced uh, so many people, myself included, to handheld gaming when, like, what we had at the time were those crappy Tiger Electronics handhelds. This allowed you to play, well, very similar quality games to what we could at home on the NES with a less than great color display. Well, now fast forward 30 plus years and we have things like the, you know, you have the Steam Deck, you've got the Asus there thing, you've got the ROG thing, you've got the Nintendo Switch, the Switch Lite, the Switch OLED, all great solutions if you want to go ahead and game on the go. But what if you don't want to spend that much? And what if you've got a really good smartphone? Like, for example, this is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra with an encased case on it. Check these out. These are super awesome. And, I mean, let's just be honest. That's a hell of a phone. Well, the team over at GameSir have a new grip case designed to work specifically with smartphones. And this is the X2S Type-C. It's a wired mobile gaming controller designed to convert this into a Nintendo Switch. Let's see how it works with this. So taking a look at the GameSir X2S Type-C wired gaming controller, you know, pretty clean box and everything. You know, not a whole lot on here. On the back though, does call out the fact that these are Hall Effect sensors, so they are smooth and have longevity for the analog sticks. Tactile D-pad, crisp and comfortable. One click capture, so I guess that would be your capture button there. It does have a home button, just like on the Switch, which is really, really interesting. Uh, micro switch buttons, three million stroke lifespan for the looks like for the shoulder buttons and probably for the face buttons as well and precise tuned hall effect analog tr oh so the analog triggers so it looks like it has like an l2 r2 type configuration uh does have a uh two microamp no is that milliamp? That might be milliamp, two milliamp. So regardless, low power consumption, uh, uh, soft rubber grips for comfy handheld uh, feeling, cozy is what it says. Um, and then over here, tactile, D-pad, crisp and comfortable. So let's open this up. And it does look like it has just a pull tab here. Oh, sure, so I might not even need the Zacto knife. Boop, there we go, awesome. And let's set the box aside. Unparalleled performance, await your command. I would say I do like the packaging of this. This is very neat, very clean. And there you have the kind of the Phoenix that they have from GameSir as their logo. And it's just a spring that holds that together. So we're gonna pop that out. Sounds like there's some accessories in here. The back analog triggers feel good do have just the the clicky nature of the sticks there this feels small this actually feels very similar to like the sticks and everything on a switch light and then unlike the other games for game grip that i've tested out where the usb-c is on this side it's on this side here so good to note uh, it does have a rubberized texture on the gray part of the grips the purple is a smooth sort of setup Nothing under the bottom tray, so all of our extra goodies are in here. And then for this, we do have another set of thumbsticks, which is nice. A quick start guide, GameSir, just in game, and then a GameSir decal as well. Basic requirements here from a phone standpoint, Android 8.0 or above, Android Type-C connection, walks you through connecting a power on. You know what, we're gonna, it's a controller. It should just work, right? One of the things I do wanna see is if I can use this with my encased case on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Does not appear so. It appears that the USB-C not quite making contact, so we will pop this out of the case. I have to admit, I really do like these encased cases. Make sure you check out our YouTube short up there about it. Uh, they sent us three or four of them. They're really, really nice. So I'll make our connection there, extend that out. Now, you know, one difference, I see the blue LED is on over here. How about some Sonic the Hedgehog 1? Now let's see if this will actually let me, I'll play the ad supported. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is gonna let me use this as a controller or not. I have no idea why this is pausing on me. Yeah, I would say not compatible with uh, Sonic, which is really unfortunate. Let's see if Comic Zone maybe works. 
So the analog stick is working. Buttons are working too, so that's... No, I don't want to rewind. So Comic Zone is working. All right, that's good to see. So let's go home. Home button is not working. All right, so let's see if the Bucks can actually take on the Celtics. I wasn't ready. No, uh, all good there. I'm just trying to figure out what the uh, what the buttons are. I mean, it's working just fine. Sorry, Tim, I'm probably letting you down right now. Boom, shakalaga. Yeah, once again, the home button not working on that, which is interesting. Let's dive into the Xbox. Go to Game Pass. Here is Shredder's Revenge. And we're clearly running into some buffering. There we go. I'm going to continue. Yeah, definitely having some connectivity issues, but that has nothing to do with this. Buttons are definitely working well. Yeah, again, having a few connectivity issues. Got those guys. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. And I've got good internet service, so I don't know what's going on tonight here with the uh, um, with Game Pass kind of crap in the bed. Yeah, again, just kind of buffered out there, so that's kind of a bummer. But again, that's... That's the platform, that's not the grip here. Uh, the last thing I want to check out here is to see if the PlayStation Remote Play will work. And I think I have to actually download that. I don't know that I have it on my phone right now. So I was having troubles trying to go ahead and get it to work with the PS5 remotely, and you can see it's now working here. What I had to do is hold down the G and the S button to go into the white uh, gameplay, so that way it was in the, uh, they call it the DS mode. Uh, it's PlayStation mode. So let's go ahead and see what can we play. We'll try Spider-Man. Now in the past I have not had good luck playing Spider-Man via remote play, but we'll see what happens here. Um, this is working quite well actually. All right, here we got him again. Yeah, that's working quite well. So let's go use the PlayStation button. We'll go home. That actually was the best that that had worked to date. Let's try the Disney Afternoon Collection. Um, I have to say this is more comfortable than I thought it would be. I kind of wish that this was scalloped back in here just because my finger's kind of resting on where the case separates. Um, but overall, it's not bad. Now, knowing that, as far as changing modes, I want to go back and try Sonic and see if it'll work. I want to just dive into some DuckTales. Woohoo! hoo hoo We'll go into the Amazon, because that's just where we typically start. And I do want to test out the D-pad a little bit with this. Damn hairy ape. Um, this is fantastic. We'll get some extra health right there. Perfect. I mean, this is working exactly as it should. I mean, this is not the most graphically intensive game, but the good news is the fact that it's able to handle the PlayStation Remote Play where in the past I've had issues with that. So I don't know if they've made their setup more robust on their end. Uh, if it's the phone, since this is my S24 Ultra versus my S22 Ultra I used to have. Yes, was able to get there. That works just fine. We're gonna go to the home menu one more time. And yeah, I want to actually see, we're going to close this. And yeah, it's still reading that as, there's something that's pausing it. Yep, so that is not, uh, for something like that, it is not working at all, which is unfortunate. But the fact that it was working very well with Xbox uh, and with the PlayStation was very nice. Um, so what do I think of this overall? We will connect back to that one and we're gonna fire up some MLB The Show. Um, I do this, think that this is a little bit more comfortable than their previous grip that I have tested. Um, the fact that it seems to be more stable, and again, I think that's more attributed to um, 
the service and the phone than anything else, at least for the PlayStation side, but the Xbox side, as you saw, was having a whole lot of problems. But again, that's not grip related. Um, button presses and everything feel good. Analog sticks feel great as well. So overall, I'm I'm very happy with this. Um, I do, I, like I mentioned, I do wish that this was chamfered or something a little bit so that my, you know, it wasn't quite as rough on my uh, my pinky here. My, my widow pinky is Thor. Um, but uh, yeah, this is working beautifully. I'm I'm very happy with this. Let's let's see if we can't go ahead and, and get a couple hits here for the brew crew while we're at it. All right, so let's see how this plays. As we are playing against the Padres and Michael Waka. Ooh, holy lag there. That felt a little bit laggy, but that could be me. Yeah, no, this actually does not feel great now. Again, that could be the remote play side of things. Now, one thing of note, uh, no rumble support, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, uh, if you saw when I was pressing the button versus when the swing took place, this has got a considerable amount of lag uh, when playing via remote play. Timing is way off on this right now. Seeing eye single, maybe, 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 no. For those of you who are familiar with baseball at all, yes, I am using the legends on my team. So we do have Molitor and Yount. A little bit of fun trivia here. Molitor is actually who my dog Molly is named after, Paul Molitor. Her name is Molly. All right, let's see, and yes, we even have Prince Fielder back on the team. Why did I swing at that garbage? Another seeing eye single. I was a little bit late on that one. So I do want to thank GameSir for sending us one of these to check out. What do I think of the GameSir X2S USB-C? Well, I mean, I like it better than the Portal. So let's let's start with that. Um, I was really surprised at some of the connection issues I had with my phone. And this is completely a phone issue. has nothing to do with the grip that I was having with Game Pass, where in the past, like when I tested out the GameSir G8, this worked flawlessly with Game Pass. This kind of had some hiccups and buffered, but on the PlayStation, it worked really well. Um, I thought that it was weird the way that Sonic the Hedgehog would not work, had to use touch controls, uh, but other things did work just fine with the overall grip and control. Um, as far as the layout, the size and everything, I have to admit, I do actually prefer the G8. This to me is just a more comfortable layout and design, but that's the beautiful thing is this is one option from GameSir, and this is just another option if you want something smaller, slimmer, more compact. I mean, you can see the overall footprint here, and granted, it's my phone is in there, so it's going to be wider, but just as far as the height, the size of the sticks, things along those lines, the G8 is definitely a bigger overall gaming unit than what the X2S is, or X2C. No, X2S, Type-C. Too many letters. Just give it a name. Don't give it letters and numbers. <laughs> um, uh, the, the overall gameplay and everything, though, I thought felt good. The analog sticks felt very responsive. The buttons felt great. D-pad felt great, except for when I was running into connectivity issues. Um, no heat buildup or anything along those lines, so from that standpoint, my phone was able to handle this just fine. I am bummed that I did have to remove my encased case off of my phone to be able to play it in here. But above and beyond that, like this played exactly as it really should have, and I'm really quite happy with it. Um, and yes, it's a smaller display than what the Portal has, but I don't have to spend an extra 200 bucks if I have something like this. This is less than you know, half the price that that is, and it's using technology I already have in my pocket. I don't need to carry around a separate device. Um, overall, like build quality felt good. The color scheme is okay. Um, and part of the problem for me, too, is the fact that this says ABXY on it, and when I'm using PlayStation games, that's that's not what, what the code is for the buttons. I get it. They had to pick something, and that's just what they decided to go with. Um, I did not test it with emulation. I'm not an emulation user. I'm not the right person to talk to about emulation. Uh, the only emulation that I used was what you saw that was either officially through the Google Play Store 
or playing through like with Game Pass or with PlayStation uh, Remote Play. So uh, overall, a decent way to play. But if you haven't done so, definitely check out our review of the G8. I actually did prefer this grip over this one here. And if you haven't checked that out yet, I will have it linked for you right up here in the upper part of the screen. Make sure to check that out. And if you want to pick one of either of these up, I will have a link to both of them down below in a pinned comment. It is an affiliate link, so it does help support the channel. You know, a couple pennies here, a couple pennies there. Everything does help. But it's definitely one of those things. I love the fact that they keep coming out with options that are good quality. The Hall effect sensors are great. The triggers felt great. Overall, these are definitely steps in the right direction and gives you viable options over like a Switch, over a Steam Deck, or things like that. Again, if you want to check out our full-blown review of this, I will have a link for you in the upper right-hand corner. Options are a great thing. Make sure to check it out.